All right. Shalom. Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. All right, before I go any further, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. For teaching me this truth according to the Bible and who grew well. Another shot of one of the artists and said, I came to the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right. And this lesson I wanted to get into, man, was on, um, you know, the type of mindset you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans need to be in in the current uh, 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 day that you're living in, man. Okay? What type of conversation, what type of people you need to be around, okay? And I'm going to bring out some scriptures, and Lord willing, the elect is edified. Okay, because these are videos that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and a confusion of faces who look like these other nations, but their line goes back to a uh, uh, Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite. So the first precept I'm going to grab, I'm going to go to... Matter of fact, I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes. I'm going to pull that first. <clears throat> it's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and I'm going to start at the top. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. That's right. We are up under the heaven. So the Lord is telling us there's a time and a place or well, a, a time and a season for everything. Okay, and you know the scripture go into it like it's a time to, you know, um, be born, a time to die, you know, so on and so forth. Well, I'm gonna jump down to verse eight. Okay, so I'm gonna read that that verse again from the top, and I'm gonna jump down to verse eight. It says uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three verse one: To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right. Okay, just like right now, we're in a time of Esau's rulership. Okay, it was a time for this devil to rule, man. Okay, but we coming out of that time now. All right, just an example. Verse 8, a time to love and a time to hate. That's right, there's a time to love and there's a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. And that's the thing, man. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans don't even know the time that you're living in, man. You're living in the time of World War III. You're living in the time of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, coming back to deliver the elect of us, man. Okay, and you want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of that. Abaratazar, man, Lord's will. I'm read it again. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. That's right. This is not the time of peace, man. This is spiritual warfare that we're in right now. Okay? So, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you know, you don't need to be around, okay, um, knuckleheads, man. Okay? Men that's not in the truth. Okay? You want to be around spiritual men. You don't want to be around, uh, okay, Tyrone on, Tyrone on the block that's selling drugs. Okay? You don't want to be around... Uh, Felicia or Maria that's being a whore or a thought okay out there in the streets man you won't be around holy men separate men okay now I'm gonna go to Peter's Slakia Peter this is a uh, second Peter chapter 3 and I'm gonna start at 10 it reads but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night that's right, the day of the Lord, when he pops up on the scene, it's going to be like a thief at the night. Because the thief doesn't let you know when he's coming to rob you, man. You know, the thief doesn't doesn't see you Wednesday. He's like, look, bro, you know, um, are you going to be home Saturday night around 10 p.m.? Okay, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to, uh, um, I plan on robbing you. <clears throat> no, the thief's not going to do that. The thief's going to wait and pop up and catch you off guard. Okay, and that's the same way the Lord's coming back. 
We just read it. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's right. And and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's right, the ICBM missiles. Okay? Along with the chariots of, you know, Yahweh Shah coming back, beaming this place down. Okay? It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's right, because we're all made up of elements. The buildings, the streets, the trees. Okay? Okay, us as a people. Okay? We're all made up of elements, man. And the elements are going to melt with fervent heat, man. From them ICBM missiles. Okay? And, 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 and this is the time that we're living in. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans need to realize what time you're living in, man. And you need to get right with your power. Your how about Shemi al who the world only calls God and Jesus Christ. That's the names in the ancient Hebrew, man. The Lashon Kodash. Okay? It says, uh, The earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up. That's right, man. The works that are in shall be burnt up. Everything you see here in America is going to be burnt up, man. That's why going back to Matthew 6 and 19, we ought to be storing up heavenly treasures, man. Okay? Because the things that are here are temporal. All right? Verse 11. And here's the point. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in? That's right. Knowing that we're in World War III, okay? We're in the time of our Lord and Savior coming back to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, that consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the confusion of faces who look like these other nations. But their seed goes back to uh, Israel, okay? Hebrew Israelites, okay? Knowing that all these things are coming to pass, okay? What mindset should you be in? What should, what, what should your thought process be? Okay? I'm going to read on. It says, What manner of persons ought ye to be in in all holy conversation and godliness? That's right. You're supposed to be in all holy conversation. We're being separate from two thirds, man. Separate from Tyrone on the block selling dope. Okay, separate from uh, uh, Felicia and Maria. You know, thoughts on the corner. Okay, supposed to just separate yourself from all two third activity, man. Because you know that the Lord's coming back. And he's coming back to, to 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 melt this place down, man. The scripture said the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and we're all made of elements. Okay? You ought to be around holy conversation, separate. You gotta be in this word, be in this truth, man. You gotta have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Alright? And be around men who has it. Okay? So I'm gonna read that last part again. It says, What manner of persons ought ye to be in? In all holy conversation and godliness. See, Tyrone on the block, he's not he's he's not being um holy okay he's not being uh in all godliness he's being wicked he's being a witch okay the lord's not dealing with that the lord's coming back to destroy people like that man so what manner of person are you to be in what's your mindset man what should your mindset be okay and i'm gonna uh, grab one more precept for our clothes this is um uh first peter Chapter 4, verse 18. It reads, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's right, man. With all these things coming to pass, okay, you got, you're going to have uh, 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 Jacob's trouble. You're going to have martial law. You're going to have uh, 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 FEMA camps. You see the FEMA camps now, man. Okay? With, with, with Jacob in there, man, when they se separating the other uh, families, okay, you're gonna have a famine, you're gonna have enough pestilence, diseases, all that's here now, man, but it's gonna be on a, a higher scale soon come, man. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. It says, uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's right, they're gonna appear in these concentration camps, man. They're gonna appear uh, with the pestilences, the, uh, with the uh, the race riots. Okay, that's where they're gonna appear, man. And ultimately, the ICBM missiles. Okay, they're gonna take the RFID chip. Okay, they're gonna be destined for destruction, man. 
but it says and if the righteous be scarce because the righteous going to be scarcely saved man okay so if the lord open you up to this truth man hey look you need to be around holy conversation man your mindset should be on these scriptures and, 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 and being in tune with the men who the Lord gave the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to, man. Start off with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men on down. Okay? Separate yourself. Get your mind right, man. Okay? Like the brother of Nakbar, man. Get your mind right, man. Okay? I'm going to read that verse one more time. It's 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 18. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, that's right, because no one's saved from anything yet, man. No, people be quick to say they, they saved. Well, what are you saved from? All hell hasn't broke loose yet, man. Okay, we're, we're not saved from anything yet. Okay? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where should the ungodly and the sinner appear? That's right, man. They're going to they, they, they're definitely get it. And you don't want to be a part of that, man. All right? So turn back to your power while you can. You how about you was shy? Because what? Death and destruction is coming, man. And you want to be separate from that. So get your conversation and holy conversation and be in these scriptures, man. All right. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and close. Lord willing, brothers are edified. Before I go any further, I give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach us this truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Another Shalom, the artist and seal, Akim, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.